Hi everybody, today's video is going to be how to deep clean your home. So I'm going around my house and I'm deep cleaning various items, including the washing machine. This is where I'm starting and as you can see, it has been a while and there's, there's a sticker. There's one of Amelia's stickers in there and there's all dirt and grime. Obviously we use our washing machine to clean our clothes, but we sometimes forget actually that it needs a clean as well. It definitely needs a clean to work more efficiently and um, so today it is on my list to do so I do try to do this every like six to eight weeks just to keep on top of it and just to make sure it doesn't build up and get really really bad uh, so the first thing I do is pull out the detergent drawer um, so most machines like mine you can just pull it directly out and then I leave this to soak um, in some soapy water in the sink and then I'll get some white vinegar and spray some on a cloth and then I'll just leave that to soak um, in that kind of space down below there just because that does obviously build up with lots of water sitting there so it does get a little bit grimy and again just while that's soaking away I'll get the toothbrush and definitely don't underestimate how good at all a toothbrush is and again I'm just spraying some white vinegar in there and I'm just going to work at that with the toothbrush to get all the dirt and grime out. So after I've done that, again, I'll be using the toothbrush and just working at the drawer. Obviously, this does have some lime scale build up, obviously, where water sits in there as well, um, and just a little bit of dirt and grime. So I'm just working through, um, just giving that a really good clean. So as you can see, I'm sliding that back on and that is just how easy that clips on and off. So super, super easy. Um, now I've left that obviously to sit with the white vinegar and I'm just gonna give that a little bit of scrub again with my toothbrush. And don't forget about wiping the sort of inside of the drum and obviously the door as well. So give that a good clean. Um, but I'm now gonna be popping off the bottom tab um, because there's, um, you kind of need to empty and clean this filter at the bottom. So pop a tray there because sometimes there is some water and this can be a little bit smelly sometimes. Um, my filter actually wasn't too bad and actually not a lot of water came out. I'm still obviously gonna just give this a bit of a wash um, and pop that in the sink to clean. And then again, with my toothbrush, I'm just gonna give that a clean in there again, spray, spraying some white vinegar. So that is now all clean. I'm just gonna give that filter a little bit of a cleaner also. So that's looking much nicer now. And I'm just gonna pop that back. Make sure you screw this really, really tight. Um, just because obviously water will come out if that's not on properly. So I'm just gonna clip that panel back to the front now. Um, and then now we're gonna be putting it on a hot cycle. So bicarbonate of soda goes in with some white vinegar. Again, as you can see, I'm using white vinegar quite a lot to clean my washing machine. So I'm just popped a lot of that in there. And then you're gonna pop it on a really hot cycle. Um, so I'm popping it on an hour for 60 just to give that a really good clean and as I said I try to do this kind of six to eight weeks just to really keep on top of it I'm moving now over to cleaning my sinks and I've, I've shown this a few times on my channel So I use bicarbonate of soda and white vinegar Let that sit for about five minutes let that do its work and then I, I uh, boil a kettle and pour that down the drain um, to kind of rinse that all out and that will help with the smells and um, just really clear your drains again i try to do that every couple of weeks i'm moving on now to a hack that i wanted to share with you how i clean my microwave so the microwave is one that can be quite ignored um definitely in our house i definitely don't clean the microwave as much as we should so what you're going to want to do is cut some lemons pop them in a bowl and then the steam that will come out when you've popped the microwave on will help actually remove all the grease and grime from your microwave, just making it so much easier to clean. So as you can see, also I'm just using the water, so I'm dipping it in there to just really help with the cleaning process as well. Um, so yeah, that is just a really good hack to show you, just to really help lift that grease off of your microwave. <music> Thank you. 
Okay, the next job that I want to do is actually defrost the bottom drawer of my freezer. So as you can see at the very back, it, it's just built up this layer of ice um, and this has been on our list for a while to do um, and I can no longer ignore it because soon I don't think the drawer will go in enough for me to be able to shut the freezer. So what I've done is I've boiled the kettle and I feel I've gone old school on this one uh, because this is how my mum used to do it as well and I've um, just popped it in a pan and left it in there so I've tried to sit it on top of some of the ice because it has gone gone down and I'm, <laughs> I'm actually trying to just pour it down the back essentially I just want to get it as loose as possible and if it try and get it out in chunks um, so there's little chunks coming off um, as much as possible and um, just get it out in one piece <music> So I've actually decided to try and use a hot water bottle as the water wasn't working very well and that worked an absolute treat because I managed to get it off in one piece and I was so happy about that. So I probably only have to do this job about once a year but obviously I wanted to work really really quick because there was still all my food within the freezer but I am very glad that that job is now done. And now moving on to the bins, again another one that you can kind of forget to deep clean and I've got some disinfectant, I use Fabulosa and um, so I've poured a cap full of that in each of my bins and again I've just boiled a kettle and then I'm going to let that just sit and disinfect and then give them a clean and then let them dry. So the bins are really, really quick to do, um, but definitely don't forget your bins. I'm moving on to deep cleaning my sofa now. Having two young children, you know, the sofa gets quite mucky when they've got dirty hands and they're forever jumping on it. Um, so I really want to give this a bit of a clean and a freshen up. Um, so what I've done is I've used my disinfectant in some um, bowl there with some boiling water. Um, I've soaked a towel in it or like a bit of a cleaning cloth. And then I'm going to wrap that round a pan lid. And then I'm going to wipe and rub this all on my sofa. And this will lift any marks and it refreshes it and it smells absolutely amazing. So I'm going to do this all over the covers of my sofa. So the backs of the sofa are a little bit harder to do, but I absolutely love the lines that it leaves on the sofa. So this is looking so much nicer now. Now no one is allowed to sit on it for a while whilst it's nice and tidy. Um, I do have some tumble dry sheets in the pillows as well. So that's a nice little hack to get your sofa smelling fresh. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video then please do remember to give it a thumbs up for me and um, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't because I make lots of cleaning content like this one and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!